Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where we should probably hurry up and get back to Granis uh, with... I think it was at least 90 uh, condenser turbines. So that we can have a steam battery against the coronal mass ejection that's coming in a bit less than 23 hours. Let's do that. Um, but first, I want to finish putting prod modules in here. Uh, I've got 24. I think we need like 50 or something. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is enough. Um, so we get more productivity bonus for our barrel to make the uh, cargo rocket sections. Okay. So with all of that, whoops. Oh, we're like, what? Six short. Uh, with all of that, we should have exactly double the throughput that we used to have, but with way better productivity bonuses. Uh, can we get six front modules real quick? Uh, maybe. Looks like we're out of Vulcanite. Literally just need, like, a stack and a half of Vulcanite to sort this out. Uh, Vulcanite blocks, that is. Let the bots do a little resupply. Okay, down we go. And... We steal the Vulcanite blocks. It's actually zero over here. I think I stole them recently. But this is fine. I definitely want to see a few more prod modules. Where are we going? Fantastic. Alright, so we got three. We need three more, I think. That's a four, and a five. Uh, meanwhile, I need to be loading up a rocket. Um, I don't, uh, I don't really want to send that much stuff. I can't remember the rules for the, uh, cargo pod going from orbit. I'd have to get into orbit first anyway. But I was trying to think of using that for transport. Um, but no, I think a cargo rocket's going to be the way to go. Um, let's actually just take... Oh, we missed it. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I was going to take the next cargo rocket to send sections and stuff over here. So that we could sort of save a trip. Kind of. Um, well, it's going to be a while before, or is it though? I'm not sure exactly how long before we'd be uh, due for another resupply over there. Still doing okay on the barrel, fantastic. That's the main thing I'm worried about there. Let's take some prod threes. That'll do. Razor K, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, now, where's the last two of these that I missed? There we go. And I'm not going to bother prod threeing the rest just yet. Okay. Um, we're playing catch-up at the moment, but I'm pretty sure, probably, um, a cargo rockets, wait, that's packed, where is it, regular cargo rocket sections, uh, I'm pretty sure a cargo rocket section every two seconds is probably more than enough for our current empire. 
So let's get together. Uh, what was it? Ninety steam turbines. One hundred and eight um, large storage tanks. Oh, I think I can just temporarily change this with the settings I've currently got. Uh, but where is the request for it? There we go. 120 of those. Steam. Uh, condenser turbines. We need at least 90. Let's take a few spare. And naturally we'll be taking some substations. Uh, what else? Bunch of pipe. We need to make some... Uh, preferably 18 electric boilers. Eighteen of those. Just take a stack. And I think that's about it. We should have plenty of pipe. We can make it whenever we want. Um, in fact, let's queue up some pipe right now. I think I can do it like this. Wait. 1,000. And... Pipe to ground. 200. Make it so. And that'll get done automatically uh, once the uh, once the crafting combinator refreshes which should be in the next few seconds there we go okay uh, what else how full is this rocket already uh, not very what's it trying to load actually Another 65 packed cargo rocket sections. Uh, yeah, we're definitely playing catch-up, although... Uh, Exorion is totally saturated, so that's cool. Launch on green signal or when cargo full. Or when cargo full. Cargo is full. And that's not the problem, because I changed it over here as well, and that one did auto-launch. Uh, is there a problem on Exorium? No. Cargo landing pad is empty. Uh, so why isn't it launching? Very curious. Exorion multi-rocket requests. Exorion... Oh, destination general vici... Oh, no. Um, I think it just launched that rocket with... Without a landing pad target. And we just missed fixing it. Or maybe just clicking on that. Made it launch. Bruh. Please tell me it's going to land in range of roboports at least. Yeah, it is. What a waste, though. A waste of I don't know what percentage of the cargo. Welp. Thought it was weird that that was backed up. Uh, that means we probably have quite a few more cargo sections uh, to catch up on. Um, but regardless, I think I will borrow this one on the left uh, to get over there. And do I want to take anything else with me? As we go back to Granis once more. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hover over the launch button, never mind. 
I don't think stack size 1 items can be lost. That's true, at least. Uh, so it's mostly just some ammo that we're going to lose. Actually, I don't know. If it crashes, is it a different story? story? Can we lose entire stacks? No, I think you're right, because when we go make a new outpost, I've never lost, like, a core mining drill or cargo landing pad or anything like that. Uh, so that's good, I guess. I really can't think of anything... Ooh, I definitely want to take combat stuff. Um, we're actually still researching these follower robot count upgrades. That's going to take a while. What are we bottlenecked on? Energy science. Uh, I believe we're bottlenecked on this computer exactly. We've actually got some speed threes. Let's see if we can't improve that. Get in there. Because I think... I could be wrong, but I think all of the... Um, Wait, what are, what are these called? All the cards. Data. I think all the purple data cards are keeping up. Yeah, we've got like 200 of each. Or 154 electromagnetic field. So... It's keeping up, or mostly keeping up. So I think this was just the bottleneck. Oh, we're actually out of... Um, Cold thermo fluid? What? We're out of cool thermo. F wow. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, thermal radiator. It'd be nice if we could upgrade this, but I think it takes some more. I haven't actually researched it. Um, the tier two thermal radiator. I'm pretty sure we have access to that research. Uh, not sure where it is, though. But I think it takes some materials that we haven't brought up here yet. Not that that should be difficult at this point. Anyway, um, yeah, we want to speed up the thermal radiator over here. And I don't suppose we could double it? Not really. Oh, in this little bit of spaghetti. Well, I was hoping to put together... What's my follower robot count? We've got some upgrades since last time we tried, but I, I would really prefer to have the two... two more follower robot counts. Uh, we've currently got... maximum of 40. That is a whole third more than before, and we've got more laser damage. Uh, I could maybe make some more Tesla ammo. That might be a good idea. I haven't tried the, uh, rocket launcher, actually. The heavy rocket launcher. I can just handcraft one of those. What's the ammo like? Well, let's definitely do that. I want to give it a try, at least. Heavy rocket. Solid rocket fuel, steel, plastic processing unit. Explosives. I could make those right here. And I think it's got... Hold on. Is this a... No, the rocket launch is not a prereq, so this is just going to get retired. Um... I think we'll stop requesting rocket launcher. Or rockets, rather. Now I have to update all that other stuff I just changed. Actually, no, it's fine, because that's 42 unlimited. Alright, cool. Uh, we need some more condenser turbines. Why do we not have them? Because we don't have steam turbines. Do I not have a request for steam turbines? Good luck f finding them.
really weird if we've got condenser turbines queued up, but not steam turbines. Uh, but it looks like that is how it is. Okay. Steam turbine. Um, and I think I'd like to have a hundred of these stashed away for the moment when I need them. Alright. Crafting Combinator is on the case. Speaking of which, still making those pipes. Looks a good. Uh, why are these in my inventory? Oh, you know what? I should have... Uh, I should have taken them back up here. Groovin, Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Research hard stuff? No, we just looked at it a minute ago. It's just slow. This is a really... This is a thousand research. It's not... It's a lot for our little smallest possible build. Um, okay. Uh, so I want to take more destroyer capsules. Can we can we make those with just the auto crafter? I think we can. Uh, let's add. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a military combinator here. Let's do it here. So we're going to want Defender Capsules, uh, Distractor Capsules, and finally Destroyer Capsules, because each is a prerequisite for the next. Uh, and we, do we have Speed 1s here? I don't think we're, like, producing them here. I mean, I, oh, I can actually, but um, I think it would be better if we just request them. If I can find some room. Uh, 40 times 50, 2k. Speed module 1. And that should get delivered immediately. Fantastic. Meowgamin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does your trains ever... Do they ever get stuck with this rail setup? Nope. Uh, only if, for example, back on Nalvis, I mess up and there's a train that, like... Here, I've been waiting for this to try and figure it out. Um, so this train has been stuck here forever because it's not quite getting the iron ore that it came for, and all these other trains are waiting, but other than that, um, there hasn't been a single traffic issue. It's actually probably my best, um, best rail block ever. So the way I set this up was we put the iron ore in the back. That's unlimited. And if there's 40 stacks here, we push it to the front. And... That doesn't care if there's a train here. And we have a provide stack threshold that's greater than two cargo wagons. Um, but what we have here is, in total, um, slightly less than three cargo wagons. So we've got, the back is full, the front is not quite full, we've got exactly one cargo wagon in the back, we're not pushing to the front. I think if I were to simply, um, set the provide stack threshold at three cargo wagons, which is kind of a lot, but if we go a train load and a half, um, this system will actually work just fine. Uh, and we won't actually need any combinators to do rebalancing so that short or long trains could take from here. Did someone say trains getting stuck? Uh, my clock? I mean, my clat? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
So I'm just going to send this train on its merry way. Um, I'll leave the other ones set at the same provide stack threshold as before. And I think, I think we'll no longer see iron behave that way. Oh, ironically, if this train, with the signaling here, if this train had been able to come and drop off iron, it would have sorted itself out. But I can't fit the signaling so that we have more sectors uh, breaking this up with this compact design. I always getting my train stuck on cross? Oh no. Uh, are you using chain signals with the intersection? Yeah, so I expect with this experiment to maybe see a train getting stuck trying to pick up copper at some point. Um, just the way this one did. But it, they should stop getting stuck with iron. That's the theory. I don't love that I have to set a provide stack threshold this high and have three cargo wagons physically here before a train will come get some, but I think I hate it less than having to do, like, a combinator to change iron to a different variable just so I can compare how much iron is in here, how much iron is in here, and, like, inserters or belts pushing it both ways. Well, I guess if I did belts pushing it both ways, um, that would be a pretty easy way to sort it as well. But I don't want the ores going round and round in circles at every station all the time. I tolerate that with the lazy, uh, lazy mining outposts. Although this one's totally saturated. Um... But yeah, I don't want, I don't want 600 million sushi belts, uh, in this save, basically. But yeah, I think probably the most elegant solution really is just a large provide stack threshold. Uh, I've set it to 120 for three cargo wagons, plus one because a little bit of ore gets stuck on the belt, um, and won't be accounted for. So that should prevent any more issues. Also, I guess we... Hmm, I don't know. I was going to say, I guess we just saw the worst case where the train was just barely not leaving. Um, like, the front cargo wagon was almost full. So maybe, like, 90 stack threshold would work. But I'm not going to count on that. Dragon plays. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, do I want to take... I think I want to leave the modules here. Um, or at, le at least the prod modules in particular. Oh yeah, I was going to load up to fight biters. Heavy rocket launcher. We need some rockets. Heavy... Heavy rocket? I keep clicking the wrong thing. This would have been easier. Nope, where is it? There it is. Heavy rocket. Uh... What's the stack? Only 50. Okay, that is a downside compared to the explosive rockets. Um... Projectile range is much... Wait, it doesn't say projectile range for rockets here. Um, the actual heavy rocket launcher says range 90, but it says projectile range 100. For the rocket itself, shooting speed monit modifier, area of effect size 10 compared to 6.5 on the explosive rockets. And then presumably a smaller, yeah, the the smaller explosion area of effect size 3, I guess. 125, 
it's actually really unclear how the heavy rocket works. Uh, did I not? Here we go. Uh, just give me two stacks. I built a heavy rocket launcher yesterday. I want to try it today, indeed. Are we not able to make... Oh, we need armor-piercing pistol... pistol mags. Okay. Um... That's just steel plus pistol mag. Uh, are these in implicit prereq order? They are. Alright, so... Armor... Well, I kind of want to put these in order like this. Let's make one stack of those, one stack of those. Um... And then destroyer caps, uh, sorry, defender capsules, uh, distractors, and five stacks of destroyers. Are we making heavy rockets? Uh, we don't have plastic here, really. Or, no, we don't. That, that's like 82. I'll put the plastic next to the explosives. Allow a stack in there. Uh, where, where are our explosives? I don't have room to add it here. Uh, I guess next to the sulfur, since they're both oil products. Allow a couple of stacks in the green chest. And we'll need to request plastic. Stack size 100, so... 5k is a bit more than one tra uh, one short train. Cool. Freebie Freddy? Uh, or Freebie Freddy? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we get more condenser turbines? Not yet. Why not? Because we don't have steam turbines. Because we don't have steam engines. Okay. Steam engine. I'm not going to build any more of those, I think. We'll just put in a few as a prereq. Should probably do the same thing with the... Uh, defender capsules and stuff. Good morning, everyone. I got no work today. Nice. Took the day off like five minutes ago. Good feeling. Um, how full is this rocket? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, it's not... At first I thought it was way more full than I thought it would be already, but now it's not that much. Um, I don't need any more explosive rockets. I do need... Uh, some... Heavy rockets. Exactly 50, I think. And we have... Zero, apparently. Oh, we have 35. They're just not being brought to me because I didn't actually ask for them yet. Heavy a rocket. Alright, uh, time for a little experiment. Can we find some rocks? That's the closest thing we have to a target dummy, right? I want... Here we go. Uh, as many rocks as possible close together. Mr. B Game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If the rocket goes here. Um, and I was thinking of making some more Tesla ammo, though. That would be a little bit of a pain. Here we go. Alright, how much range does this actually have? That's... wow. Okay. That's pretty good and very fast. Uh, I think... 
It's pretty slow. Ow. Uh, the fire rate is pretty damn slow. It's going to be really nice for beating uh, biter nests, especially worms and stuff. Um, but I don't think it's going to help us in the pyramid. Like, at all, actually. How do we make Tesla ammo? Electromag facility, holmium plate, lithium sulfur battery. I think we've got all of that handy. Holmium plate, sulfur, lithium sulfur battery. Do we have a spare uh, electromag facility? Maholic, thank you very much for the raid. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Or SE, I think. Howdy, indeed. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Use the laser, personal laser turrets? Yeah, we will be doing that. It was great, thanks, though I bunged up my run. Oh, no. Research is still hard stuck. I'm, I'm not convinced of that. We're making catalogs. Uh, some of the catalogs are going to space rail. No, I don't think that's right. I think this is saturated. Uh, where are our catalogs going? I, I thought I saw one fly away just now. No? No, they're just in requester chests. Oh, we are making... Yeah, there we go. See, we're making insights, we're making energy simulation, uh, and we're only missing... Oh? Space science pack. Space transport belt, steel plate, small electric. Oh, I know why this is. Uh, we've actually got a million steel plate. Uh, we've actually got a million small electric. We've got no lubricant? We we do have lubricant. What? Ah. Ah. I see. Space transport belt got put over here somewhere, I think. No, it's not that it got put over here. It's that we made some. Uh, with our autocrafter, and I had some logic back here that's obsolete. Um, we do not, in fact, want to limit space transport belt to, like, 500. Well, that's fine. Um, we'll almost definitely still be bottlenecking on the thermofluid and or uh, energy insights. Um... We, we did save up, actually, hardly any energy catalogs. So it won't be long before we're back to bottlenecking on uh, energy science, I think. So we probably haven't even lost any time. How's your K2SE going? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, we need to go to Granis to make a steam battery today. But we just got, um, barrel, the barrel recipe for cargo rocket sections that doubles them relative to every other physical input. And we're playing catch up on, uh, cargo rocket sections, which were not actually short materials. Um, it's actually just, I made... I made more outposts and didn't realize that we were overstepping uh, how fast we can make cargo rocket sections. Barrel cargo, indeed. Uh, so now I want... We need an electromagnetics facility. Uh, let's see. Electromagnetics facility... 
We'll need accumulators. We'll need blue circuits. Fantastic. Morning, Tiny Goliath. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's all we're looking for. Though, I wouldn't mind if it makes a couple more. Let's go one more spare. Bots are taking their sweet time building this. It is the same building, right? There we go. We want Tesla ammo. The other thing is I have to physically come back up here um, to make this happen. Well, not to make it happen, but to actually pick up the electromag ammo, the Tesla gun ammo. But on the other hand, uh, no other weapon that we have right now is going to come close. Uh, apart from our many def uh, destroyer capsules uh, to clearing out the pyramid. This is actually our first pyramid that we're clearing out. I've never been much for the shotguns in this game. I know they can clap uh, spawners early game quite well. Mizuzi? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we definitely won't be using personal roboports for this part. Can I make better personal shields? I cannot. I don't think they're as important as offense and mobility, as long as we have a bit of a buffer between ourselves and instant death. Um... 4.8 megawatt max power output. Oh, I actually need batteries if these two are going to output at full DPS. Uh, this is max output 4.8. This is 7.2. Which means... I can't do it? Unless I go for three portable nuclear reactors? Even if I use batteries, there's a limited output from these with K2. So that would put us up to like uh, 5.8. So there's actually no point in having two personal lasers. Um, actually, they have an internal buffer, so I would get bursts of extra damage, but when we're completely surrounded by enemies, it's not going to help. I just got T4 Thruster Suit. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I think I'll... Oh, we need to upgrade it as well. Didn't we already do that? I just haven't put it in yet. Personal... Uh, no, we don't have it. Yeah, I can make tier 2. Max consumption 5.4 megawatts. That's like... That's like all of our... We can do 4.8. We can't even keep up with a single tier 2. 4.8 megawatts with two of these. I could do a tier 2 and a battery. Um, what's the difference in DPS? 150 plus 210 versus... 480 total versus... Um, 360 total. That's pretty significant. So do we, Oh, that's Sniper. I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, this is even worse. Uh, it's almost double. 15 plus 21, 36 laser damage versus 48. So it's a pretty similar, like, 50% more 
DPS. More range as well. Um, but if I go to 6.3 megawatts, we can go 5.8 if I use a big personal battery as well, temporarily. If I use two personal batteries, we could have tier 2 here. Might be worth it. Uh, exoskeleton might be good as well. We can actually have a movement bonus that we don't lose for a moment the moment we take one damage. But we really don't have that kind of space. Uh, I could swap out the jetpacks. How much power does the exoskeleton use? 200 kilowatts? That's like nothing. Um, and I can do tier 2, but it's a bit of a pain because I have to add lubricant. Uh, double the bonus, 50% more power consumption. That's actually quite good. Do we, we do have lubricant here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The autocrafter stuff can do lubricant. That's no trouble at all, actually. Um, okay. And presumably tier 2 will be a prereq for the next thing. Doesn't even matter if we overproduce them a little bit. I was at a point where almost every weapon could carry had almost no effect. Biters swarmed me when entering pyramids, then I put one reactor and then rest T4 into my suit. Went on in, launched an atomic bomb. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, do we have Tesla ammo? We do. Uh, 26 already, stacks to 200. Uh, how's power up here? We've got a bit to spare. Whoa, we don't have a whole lot to spare. Let's not touch it right now. Uh, and I'm going to want five stacks of these, temporarily. Oh, I think... No, it's literally just speed ones. Wait, didn't those get delivered yet? I distinctly remember like 2.4 thousand speed 1 modules being on their way here. They did get delivered, I probably have to add them here. Alright, 50 and... up to 100. So that should mean... What about the... Oh, I didn't put the ammo here either. Uh, pistol. Pistol. And defender. And distractor. Pistol mag. Pistol mag. Defender capsule, distractor capsule, that should be fine. So now we're actually making the prereqs for uh, defenders, distractors, destroyers, and keeping them in this box. What is that negative amount on the items? So in order to prevent this from eventually overfilling, which, I don't know why we've got a million electric furnaces in here, actually. Um, electric furnace, negative 50. Huh? The, what? Electric furnace. Electric furnace. Did I, did I double it somehow? I 
do not see another signal for electric furnaces. There's 4.4k electric furnaces in here. 2.5k concrete. Uh, concrete is allowed to have a lot. That's okay. Um, so what's normally supposed to happen is... We request one stack of... Uh, for example, one stack of anything that needs to stay in here because it's a prereq. Um, and we read the contents of the whole big chest uh, and come over here and set requests. Uh, so we're constantly trying to drain the entire contents of this chest, except we put in negative numbers for, to say, go on and allow uh, five stacks of iron plate to stay in here before it gets requested over here. Left side, there's another combinator with electric. Left side. It, it shouldn't be like negative a million though. Is it this left side you're referring to or somewhere else? Wait, I know what to do. 4.4k... Actually, no I don't. If I connect these by red wire... ...and put them... ...on this, we can see the values. Negative 50. And there's no... there's no other connections. What? What even... I do see some electric furnaces getting put over here to be thrown back into the... the robot network. Oh, it's because there's always electric furnaces in here and the bots aren't catching up. Okay. So it's not a logic problem, it's a bot... uh, throughput problem. Finder Brave uh, and Mizuzi, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's kind of a problem because we've already maximized. Um, our bots in here. I'm not going past fifty because the bot interference wind is so crazy in this place that uh, when I started using more bots they just started exploding ridiculously quickly. Um, instead I'm gonna move this stuff closer and we'll borrow this uh, active provider chest if not, bring it even closer than that. I need to get all these single cylinder engines back in the system. That should already be happening, actually. The one combinator I was referring to was on the left side of the large buffer chest. Uh, that one would be... Is it part of this set where we're requesting what the autocrafter is going to make, like here, because that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move all of the stuff over here that the bots had to reach over for uh, much closer, because bots are exponentially faster the closer everything is together. I might move these storage chests as well, we'll see. Um, anyway, how's that rocket looking? Pretty full. At this rate, we're not even going to waste any cargo space. Um, Tesla ammo. 73. I could speed it up, but it'd cost a bunch of power, and power's a little sketchy. I think I'll just wait till there's 200. 
Oh, and uh, let's limit Tesla ammo to less than two stacks. Or limit it to two stacks. Okay. It's all construction bots going down to the left now, so the Logi bots are going to be free to go a bit faster. Still looking for those condenser turbines. Here we go. That is just enough. With a few spare. What about destroyer capsules? We've only got nine more. Ravna. Probably allow a bit more copper to be requested. Iron as well. Pretty sure we've limited those to five stacks. Okay. So once we've got uh, 200... Tesla ammo, I think I'll provide a cargo, not not a cargo rocket, a space capsule uh, up to orbit to grab those. Uh, I might come down here and make a little chest full of everything I want to take on this uh, journey. We want the condenser turbines, electric boilers. May as well take... More of the usual. Um, definitely lots of large storage tanks. And... Uh, that's really it, for the most part. That's the stuff I want to make sure I take. We'll bring some more belt as well. Oh, and that's that chest is full now. Okay. Uh, don't refill my inventory, please. Not this time. going to go for minimal. Minimal everything so that we don't have to spend more cargo rocket sections on this. Let me just do it this way. That's a big... I'll keep the fuel, and I need to put this stuff in a chest, which apparently I've been in the habit of over here. How about this? Okay. So we can go to Hagen Orbit. Uh, we don't need this many capsules. Fantastic. That's actually full. I 
And now it says 8 out of 7? That's a lot of extra solid fuel. Whatever. It needs solid fuel up there. What? Where are we going? That's not where I had in mind, actually. Okay. Back we go. Try not to die. Don't need any cargo sections to get back downstairs. Uh, this can all go in here. And I was going to get the bots to bring me the Tesla ammo. We don't really need to wait for 200. There's no way we're going through a whole stack of um, Tesla ammo just to clear out the pyramid. So I think without further ado... Let's pick this up. It's way back there. C could you stop with the getting rid of the... No? How, how do I... Okay, that that's what I wanted. Why was this a problem when I do it by muscle memory on the ground? I'm stuck. There we go. Fantastic. As I casually sacrifice half my health because I didn't bother switching to the thruster suit. Um, fuel is fine. Down we go to Hagen. Uh, back to a random... Cargo landing pad again. I know just the way to summon uh, a taxi, though. Oh, it's already on its way here, I think. Nope, it's going back. The poor thing can't actually keep up with all our cargo rockets right now. I need to start making more of those. but I need somewhere for them to park. I guess I could have them park at LTN depots? That might be fine, actually. We could get rid of this refueling setup right here. Let's try it with this one. It's going to add a bunch of unnecessary trips, though, while this train is still struggling. Um, well, all the more reason to double this sooner. Uh, return to mall. One second of inactivity, that's perfect. And then... Go to depot, wait for inactivity. No, it's going to go around in circles, because vanilla trains are like that. Uh... It's gonna if if there aren't any of these stations that are active, it's gonna go to the mall and then back to the depot and then back to the mall and then back to the depot. Mm. Unless I make a uh, if I convert a depot stop or five to, say, return to mall. No, that's not going to work. It's going to go around in circles. I'd have to... I hate vanilla trains. Wait, the depot clear the schedule? Uh, no, only if it's doing... I don't think so. Wait, the depot clear the schedule. You might be right, actually. I 
I think you're right. Well, that's one more reason we can't do it. Yeah, I don't see a way we can have a depot stop um, without some serious fuckery. Alright, let's empty our pockets of this stuff. Uh, pick all of this up. Not actually using... Cryo gun might actually be a really good idea. Where is it? Uh, it's on another planet, isn't it? Cryo gun. All surfaces. It's on Nalvis. Can I make a cryo gun? I cannot. That could have actually carried me, uh, even if these biters are still OP. Oh well, we're just going to have to see how strong our Tesla is uh, with destroyer capsules. Do we really still... How many destroyer capsules do we still do we have? Uh, 15 plus... One. They're, they haven't even been moved to the storage yet. We're not out of storage, are we? Uh, we might be. Almost. That's a disturbing. But yeah, it seems like our bots are never catching up. Send a rocket with just the cryo gun. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ooh, I want to take some... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit. I want to take four vehicle roboports. So we can upgrade our construction train back there. It's wild how we never get to the point where all of the work is done in the mall. I don't know why I'm even carrying two of these. Since we can't power them. Alright, I think a stack and a quarter of destroyers is going to be way more than we need in this instance. Probably bringing more than one stack is overkill. Um, but that's okay. Let's put a shield here. I mean, not a sh that's not a shield, that's a big personal battery. That's not really going to make a difference. I feel like the mall needs more than 50 bots to keep up. I think it might be okay overall, but it's taking its sweet time catching up a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, I already tried giving it more bots. The The rate at which the bots crash is way too high. Like, it's actually ridiculous. You hear an explosion every half a second or something. Alright, let's bring all of this. I actually have no more room in my inventory. I'm okay with this, and uh, we might find that we're full in a minute. No, nope, we're still looking for more cargo rocket sections, and they're all getting greedily taken. Um, if I were to momentarily switch this one off. We should be able to fill this rocket. Granus is kind of a higher priority regardless. 
because everything depends on Vulcanite. Let's reconnect that. And wait, really? God damn it. There we go. Oh, I saw them going up this way with the Is this actually the all of the sections we're asking for? Bruh, we're too short. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal some. It directly. Now it's full. This game is playing me. Alright. Re enable that before we forget. And green signal or when cargo full. Away we go. AI Collector. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for streaming. I try to look and enjoy what you do every so often. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, we've still got like... 21 hours 41 minutes before the CME but I think I'd like to get this done first. It's not going to be difficult. We already made a blueprint for it yesterday. That's actually a surprisingly good fit. Uh, except we need some power switch stuff. Because I don't want it drawing from the steam as a matter of course. I want that to be emergencies only. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, then. Um, how about... Over here... How are we doing this? Give me, give me some... Robopot. Oh, it's in range? Half of it's in range. Oh my god, the inventory. Stop. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Now I should be able to switch to the thruster suit without vomiting my inventory onto the ground. That's a slow... Give me some more roboports. And forget the life support for now. Wait, why am I even switching to my thruster suit? Because this doesn't have roboports in it, and I'm not going to switch it all up again. Okay, so I want, I think I want to put our umbrella on this side. I could either do two power switches, we connect when we're very, very low on power, or we connect when accumulators are full. I should be able to accomplish that with one power switch. Um, alternatively, I put the umbrella on this side, and we only send it power when we can spare some, and we'll gain a bunch of steam to store away. Yeah, if we only connect this when accumulator charge is full, it should mean we don't consume any of the steam on this side. I think.
Funny the number of times I've done this and I still have to think through it. Uh, we need a accumulator. Just so we can check how much power we have on this side. Do we not have one spare? I think it's in here. Unless there's one on the way. Oh, we don't have bots displayed. Yep, there it is. Okay, so how about we just say accumulator charge equals a hundred. That's flickering. Nope, now it's fine. If it's not going to flicker too much, I don't really mind. Uh, and we also need a drop off for water here. Unless I'm just going to build it next to the ice. I don't really want to do that. Okay. Train stop. Of the LTN variety. Huge storage tank. Um, is this okay? Probably. I could put some solar panels on this side as well, I guess. So that we're always at least very slowly making some steam. Oh. This is where we were going to do that logic before. The ice is next to hot lava? Of course. What, what's the problem? So we were going to say accumulated charge has to be greater than X before we pump water in as well. Um, that probably makes sense. And except I think I want to say it has to be full. Perfect. Uh, and we want a requester station for water. Wait, I didn't set this. No, I didn't set the station name. I'm just enthralled. This is going over my head, to be honest. So what we're doing right now is making a steam battery. Um, in Factorio, heat is never lost in the way that you would expect. Uh, whether it's heat in a heat pipe or the temperature of a fluid, uh, it just stays there. It's like, it's almost like just a different material. Um, we're able to pay electricity to flash water to steam with electric boilers. Uh, we're going to flash that to 500 degrees steam, which is the best we can do for these uh, condenser turbines. Um, at 415 degrees, they'll run at 10 megawatts. Uh, higher temperature just means it'll be a bit... Uh, the steam will last longer. Um, but basically... Whenever we've got power to spare... Oh, I forgot. Uh, that's not actually a problem, that's really easy. There we go. Uh, so... Whenever we've got power to spare, we're going to pay electricity to convert water to steam, and we're going to save up lots and lots of steam uh, so that we have a ton of stored energy for when a giant space beam 
uh, is going to come at this planet in about 21 and a half hours. And this big electricity guzzler right here is going to protect us from that beam. Um, now the first problem I have here is I need to not consume the steam that we're making in order to flash or water to steam. Uh, I think these need to be on a separate power network, actually, which shouldn't be too hard to fit properly. Uh, I think we'll just... I think we'll just have the boilers on the main power network and we'll control water input. If I put this accumulator on the main power network, we probably don't even need the power switch. So when accumulator charge is full, we're going to pump water into the electric boilers and turn it into steam. Store up a whole bunch of energy. And I just realized these are lighted substations. That's actually terrible. Uh, it means they're going to burn just a little bit of energy all the time. But this thing consumes energy all the time anyway. We actually want it to be connected to main power as well, but not connect these two power networks. All right, so this is always powered by main power and or backup power. Um, backup power network is on its own. That basically just has the steam turbines and the umbrella. I still see it... I see the animation turning, but it doesn't seem to be consuming any steam. And now it's stopped. Okay. Oh, it's probably the lighted substations that I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make eight regular old substations. And I'll replace these ones. There we go. Internal turbine steam that's getting reused. Okay. That should work. Are all of these regular substations? No. Which one's lit? Here we go. Ah, sneaky. I see what you did there. Okay, so we should have zero power consumption on this side. Uh, which means whenever we pump some water through because the accumulator charge is full. Oh, is it night time now? It's a night time. That helps understand, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, so I want to see what happens once our accumulated charge is full again, up here. Uh, this pump will switch on, we'll pump some water in, and considering how many we have, these are 5.17 megawatt each. Now that's probably super overkill, honestly. I could probably just cut back on almost all of the electric boilers. Because I think it's going to hit 100% accumulator charge, put a bit of water through, and then immediately dip back down. Then again... Oh? 
Oh, it's taking a little while to get more of these machines working at the same time. It's only pumping 70 per second? Oh, we're already pretty empty on water. Okay, that, that's fine too. I mean, a train will be coming to deliver this in a minute. Uh, let's just fix our station name. Um, just going to put a symbol for what this is for. Electric boiler making steam. Cool. Uh, but yeah, judging by this accumulator charge, I don't think the electric boilers doing their job is going to be as dramatically power thirsty as I thought. Five of these is about equivalent to a core mining drill. Uh, but I think we did have like over a hundred megawatts of power spare at peak still. Train stop name plus re-enable, indeed. Alright, cool. How much steam do we have? 7k. I don't know if that's counting what's in some of these turbines. Uh, but the rate we're going, I don't think we're going to have the slightest difficulty having 71 gigajoules stored uh, before the CME. Fantastic. Alright, let's gear up for the pyramid. Uh, we've got our shields, we've got our movement, we've got our damage, we've got... Forty bots, and we've got Tesla gun. Here we go. Whoop. I may have overcompensated based on how threatening they were last time, and I do not regret it even a little bit. Alright, what kind of module did we get? Speed. That is a bit of a consolation prize, but not too bad. We have one speed 9 module. And uh, that's how you delete a pyramid. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. 6% till science done. <laughs> yeah, we would have had another 5. I think it's 5. Yeah, we would have had 45 max bots with that. Uh, how's your stream today? Burgers. I think we got everything, right? Looks -a like it. And I'm not gonna do the telephone thing this time. Overkill, most fun, indeed. Right, let's go this one, because it's got more speed. Uh, I can't, like, dismiss these bots or anything. There's nothing I can do with them. Uh, but I think we're finished here. Let's just take the next rocket back. I thought I saw a different co No, I think my eyes are being weird. I thought I saw a different color of something in here. But it's fine. We've got, we've got cargo rocket sections, we've got fuel, we've got capsule. Uh, just as soon as the core fragments are full, we will be on our way back. Um, I think I've got a moment, though. Uh, I may as well leave some presents. Anything that we can easily replace. Um, back on Hagen. That I don't want to keep on my person. That's fine. Oh. Plenty of time left. I ran it at 185 to Foenestra. 
Launched my first homegrown spaceship. Nice. 185 speed. Then left to go start working on my... That, that's violent. Good grief. Okay. Working on my first big outpost. My goal is 100k Vulcanite blocks a minute. That's a lot. So been setting up infrastructure for that. Designed a new rail block. Decided energy beaming isn't as awesome as I'd hoped, really? Did they nerf it into oblivion? I think it's amazing. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Roboports for the train, good call. Uh, I think we have time without me arbitrarily stopping the launch. Uh, wait a sec, I also want to add... Okay, let's just turn this off for a sec. Launch manual. Uh, I want to add a Tesla thingamajig. Energy absorber and Tesla something. Tesla coil. Energy absorber. Please build me those. Did you put life support back on? Uh, I'm going back to Hagen, so I don't really need to. Uh, and we probably need some uh, cable or something. 20 copper cable. I doubt that's enough. I need 100. We actually not have a active provider, or oh, sorry, a passive provider. Uh, I'm just gonna borrow this. Launched a rocket 180k distance, 1.8 meter, million, 1.8 million rocket fuel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just once for media defense ammo should cover that planet for a long time. I hope so. How much media defense ammo do we go through? We've got like four or five planets. Uh, let's see. Consumption. Over the last one hour... What, where is it? Why is ammo showing me transport belts? Whatever, let's just look at production. Uh, 12 per minute. That's not that much. Oh, this is full. Let's get it moving again. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's making a lot more energy absorbers than I had in mind. Uh, give to me the Tesla coil. Put it here, I guess. And find me a energy absorber. How many did we make? Nine? And that was before I stopped it. May as well take these back. Alright, so that's our new and improved construction train. With maximum RoboPort. Fantastic. May as well take the energy absorbers back. And away we go. That was nearly very bad. It must have made a bunch of Tesla coils as well, actually. Because it only refreshes every 30 seconds. It's not actually suited for this design. And we're back. Oh, 
Wait, no, that's the train I want to catch. No, come back. Come back. No. Wait for me. It's slightly too fast, and we're back now. Never mind. Delete the copper cable machine unless you want 150k cable? Oh, that's a good point. To go with your 150k engines? Yeah, rub it in. There we go. We got rid of the extra single cylinders, finally. How many do we have in the mall now? Oh, I didn't even have to search for them. 134k single cylinder engines. Um, I do have a system here to offer up anything that we've got a massive amount of um, into back into the rail network at super high priority, so that won't last forever. Set for life? <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, cool, so that's our, uh, our tier 9 module that we came back with. And we we upgraded the construction train, uh, and we've set ourselves up to deal with CME. We've already got 64k steam at 500 degrees, 500 joules per second. Um, up oh, per degree, rather. Wait, what? Hold on. It is 500 degrees, right? Yes. Okay, don't scare me like that. Um, 500 joules per degree. So... 2.5 megajoules. Is that right? No, 200... 250,000 joules per, uh, per what, per one steam? I think that's right. That doesn't sound right. Uh, 72,000 times 500 times 500? I feel like that's too many zeros. It would mean we've got 1.8 gigawatts? That might actually be correct. Already stored? Uh, and the CME is actually 71 gigawatts. Uh, gigajoules. Rather. Watts is joules per second, if I recall. So, it is going to take a minute um, to be able to deal with that CME, but we've got like 20 hours plus. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, we've now got Cryonite, Vulcanite, Iridite, uh, Iridium, oh sorry, Imacite, Iridium as well. I think I said Iridite and Iridium. Uh, beryllium. I can probably go and set this to a proper stack threshold now. Uh, I think it's about time to start expanding our... our space rail system. I just don't know if our cargo rocket section throughput is good enough yet. Why don't we go give it some beacons and speed modules? Uh, speed modules... Efficiency, perhaps... And did I set it up so that we could easily fit 
This is the wrong block. <laughs> okay. That one was looking easy, though. I think we need to move the substations for this one. If we want to get the most out of our beacons. Uh, so let's do that. Why do I have no bots? There we go. Why do I have no speed? There we go. And... One, two, three. Should be fine. Um, and let's go for... Well, let's look at our power after we give it nothing but speed, actually. Because I really need cargo rocket sections uh, to be fully functional again. Doesn't look right. Oh, I see. Alright, so we still need more power over this way. Fantastic. Uh, what is our rate? Oh, these don't have speed modules. Uh, pick the dollies. I'm gonna have to pick these up. Uh, on second thought. actually too much. No, it wasn't. Move that over one tile. And this one. Like this. Cool. So, how does that change our rate? I thought this wasn't even moving. Uh, let's see. Cargo rocket section. 0. 0.264 per second versus... 2.376? Yeah, okay. That's a pretty big difference. Literally like 10 times, or maybe 11, 12 times faster. Okay, then. Pardon me. And I want to move these over without disrupting... I lost track of where this was. That is there. Well, that, that one's moved over a lot, actually. I don't remember moving it over that much. You know what? Just, um... Just stop putting inputs into these. And let them finish the one recipe. And then I'll just pick them up and move them. It's going to bug me if I kill some resources, especially barrel. Is the enemy beam that attacks the planet dramatic to watch? Uh, kinda, yeah. Okay. 
get some... Oh, I can actually do it like this. Well, that makes it easier. I'm going to finish that recipe. Or two. So when it comes, you can see the shield block the beam. Oh, that one. Not so much. Uh, the, the, the umbrella just sort of glows blue. And you can watch the, uh, the graph of power usage. And nervously look at how much steam you've got left. And try and mentally calculate if it's going to be enough. Oh wait, I don't actually want to pick these up. Because I'll destroy like half a recipe. Whoops. Let me just copy paste. All of that. I think we already did that. And this one goes all the way over here. And these ones over here. sort of in sets of four, right? Why don't I just remove the inserters? That's gonna make it easy. Dev set. And I guess it doesn't actually matter if we use cut paste here. That's a bit easier. Where are our beacons? Did, did I not copy-paste them? Or have we got extra containers here or something in the way? I, th I thought I copied all of this. Uh, did I paste it onto itself? That might be it. Alright, I need to go back get more beacons. Let's do that. Starts doing the burny, indeed. Uh, where are we going? Over here. There's our beacons. Burns all, indeed. How's our power looking? Uh, less good than it was before, but not too bad, I guess. Is it the middle of the day? Oh, we're not even using solar panels on this planet, I forgot. Because it's so far from the sun. And I didn't bring enough speed modules, actually. Let's uh, grab those. Yeah. Nearly at 1k crafting machines, <laughs> indeed. Alright, let's check. That should be done... Uh, we're getting 2.376 cargo rocket sections per second. That sounds familiar. And 2.376 cargo rockets per second. Nice. Uh, so almost 5 per second. That, that's almost a stack of... Pack, uh, that's almost one packed cargo rocket section stack uh, every second. I think that'll probably be enough at this stage. It's actually kind of crazy. I could go double our nuclear power. Uh, I don't see why I shouldn't do that. I 
this point. Is there anything in the way over here? Sort of, not really. Let's go do that. I guess I don't really mind bringing a bunch of speed and efficiencies back to the mall. Uh, we need some nuclear heat exchanges. Why is it 18? That's oddly specific. Uh, I need reactor. We don't have reactor. I guess we never made any more reactors since coming here. Can I handcraft? It's a lot. Uh, let's get the autocrafter to make some. Nuclear reactor. What are they stacked to? One? Bruh. Really? Let's make four at this point. I'll make it ten. Uh, heat exchanger should be fifty. Heat pipe... We're not going to need anywhere near as much heat pipe as a regular playthrough. Because K2 nuclear is OP. Um, and I've already got a request for steam turbines. How's uranium supply looking? Um, I don't even remember where we're drilling it, to be honest. We're not processing any. Coverex has quite a lot of 235 available. It's still got 6.3k 238 for input as well. But we're actually saturated. Uh, we've got 36k uranium 235 here. Plus 4. 40k. Um. Let's look at where we've got uranium ore in containers. We've got like two uranium left over here. Um, let's just set that to provide threshold one. Uh, this one has a lot more coming from core fragment processing. Uh, we've got a little bit over here, but that's the dregs. And same thing over here. Uh, Mad Dame Salsa, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for the four months. What if the planet runs out? Then I'll get uranium from somewhere else. Um, but we've got a lot. Well, kind of a lot. Um, uranium lasts a long time. Okay, we do have relatively little uranium on this planet, actually. Uh, let's just check over here. I want to... Oh, this actually has stuff left in the ground. No need to mess with that yet. Although this train is looking rather confused. Oh, this is the old logic. That should get it done. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, on our other outposts, Gibbel has a lot of uranium, it looks like. Let's look at the graphs. Uh, there's a bit of uranium anyway. Exorion has a decent chunk of uranium somewhere, allegedly. That's only 202k that I can see. Uh, Granis should have a lot 
I think. I don't think we've got a uranium core fragment planet um, in system, but we can find one once we get into interstellar space. But we can actually use a uh, factory search. If we don't look in storage, but we look at entity, it'll actually show us these are all of the uranium patches that we've still got available on this planet. Uh, this one's only 24k, only 4.4k, 33, 120. Um, there's a million, 872k, 1.3 million. Uh, we've, we've got several million left still. Yeah, it's a really good mod. Love it. I just wish it would find, uh, biter worms for me. Because we've still, I, I haven't had, uh, the time and energy to look for it off, off stream. Um, somewhere on Gibble, there's like three biter worms remaining somewhere, and we can't declare the planet as uh, the nests have been eradicated. So I have to keep the whole thing explored um, until... Well, until we either set up uh, interplanetary file drivers. Um, do we have those? We need Material Science 1 and Astro Science 1. I could get these to auto-target and kill the worms. Uh, or I could go looking for them myself. Uh, let me just pick up these... Huh? I just want to return these to where they're supposed to be. Oh! Oh, this is happening systemically. This isn't the occasional thing that I've picked up. Um, I think the rocket fuel tanks are... Probably. Yeah, rocket fuel tanks, I think they've only come back here... Um, because I had them in my inventory or something. But the cargo... What are they called? The cargo pods themselves need to be brought back to this place. I think you should do a spaghetti material science one build. But I but I wanna do it in a nice neat rail block science now. I've had enough of the spaghetti. Um, come to think of it, no, buffer chests are going to take priority. Over storage chests, it should be fine. Alright, so here we're going to put uh, cargo pods. And here as well. And I'm going to create some requests to bring these over here. Uh, cargo pod. 10 times 80. Maybe a bit more than that. I just need to set this high enough to force LTN to bring them all here. And it should be able to pick up the cargo pods from the mall that get picked up after crashed ships happen. Rail blocks are peace and harmony, indeed. Speaking of which, uh, it's about time we started expanding them. So, I th think the first block I had 
like to do is solar panel production. Um, could we maybe design it to do all of the solar panel production? And oh, that's just steam. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll just enable bits of it as we tech up. Better yet, set it up so that we don't even have to do that. Okay, all of the trains still repathing across all surfaces. Because we're deleting two rail blocks. Any minute now. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so I want a space rail block. Probably standard input output. Where am I going? This belongs over here. Do you have a minute to talk about our Savior Lord Flying Spaghetti Monster? Of course. Okay, and this does include, it does not include the scaffolding. That's a surprise. Um, if I put this here, it should put the scaffolding underneath. And then we can redo this blueprint. Do we have the scaffolding here? We don't. Definitely want to make sure there's at least enough. And then some. Uh, I don't think this one actually needs to be there. This one, and that should be the bare minimum. Okay. Snap to grid eighty six twenty five one. Tiles, train stop names. Well, train stop names are irrelevant. And that goes here. And this is with big poles, flat solar panels, and space rail. Seams are good. Now we can get started. Uh, let's review the steps that we have to take to get our solar panels. I just want to double check, actually... Well, firstly, how much of this could we do on the ground? Uh, we can do the regular solar panels on the ground. And then... I wonder if it would be easier, since we're not looking at just one thing, to use the recipe book here. Solar panel. Okay. Advanced solar panel. I can't see what machines can build it. this view. Uh, does it does it show the machines anywhere? Made in, there it is. Ingredient of general unlocked by I guess solar panel just doesn't have any restrictions on it really should tell us what it's made in, shouldn't it? Or was I looking at something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the actual recipe for solar panel. Made in everything. Uh, advanced solar panel is the next step. 
although you can't really see that here very well. Made in everything, you can do it on the ground. Flat solar panel has to be made in space. Um, and the next tier, and the next tier, has to be made in space. Okay, would it be more stack efficient uh, to make advanced solar panels on the ground? They stack to 20? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Um, and I'm sure we can't put prod modules in these. Yeah, at any point. We also need nitric acid, which would be another pain to get into orbit at this point. Factory planner, maybe? Uh, that might be good. Um, flat solar panel, it has to be the giant machine. I thought maybe we'd be able to do it with, um, with the little assemblers, but nope. Okay. Well. Hmm. Immersite crystal. Do we have those in orbit already? We do. That makes me all the more tempted to make all of this in space. We've already got all of it here. We can send the ingredients in much more stack-dense uh, manner, except that at the moment we'll have no op option except for barrels to send up nitric acid. But adding that to our Omni lazy science resupply thing uh, is not going to be that difficult. So yeah, I guess I guess let's design solar panels from scratch uh, in a space block. It's gonna be a lot of stuff we have to drop off though. Uh, let's make a list. We need EC glass silicon steel plate. And then electronic components. Uh, Immersite crystal, nitric acid. I'm extremely tempted to just do some bot spaghetti for the moment. Uh, and then. Multispectral mirror, holmium plate, holmium cable. Where is it? Mirror, holmium plate, holmium cable, holmium solenoid, aeroframe scaffold. And lastly, superconductive cable and Naquium cube. All right, then. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13 solids and one fluid. Come to think of it, I'm surprised there's only one fluid in all of these. Uh, we can fit eight trainloads of stuff here. I think. 320 over 40. So theoretically we could do uh, 8, 16... If we wait until this is empty of a resource. 
Uh, we could do like up to 16 solids with just two train drop-offs. Why can't I? All oh, right. And what would the right look like? Uh, 0.5 per second needs 0.5 per second. Makes 0.125 per second. We need four of these if we're not going to use modules. It actually has a middle. Uh, and I kind of want trains to be able to pick up I might just change the output station every time we get a new technology how fast would we be getting 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.1667 one flat two every... well, we need a one to two ratio here. Uh, and I don't think I would worry too much about the tier three solar panels. Those are just going to go on spaceships. At that point, we're getting energy beamed all over the place for our stationary stuff. Could do some bot throughput. Uh, let's see, we need 0.5 solar panel per second, which is four of these. Might turn out to be fairly easy. Oh, how about about like that. I kind of like that. Well, these could actually go directly here, but whatever. I like this better. So how fast... Uh, that should all be zero ratio, right? Until we, we get to Naquium. That's actually pretty neat looking. Um, and then I want to know how fast we need all the other stuff. Uh, one per second, one per second, two per second, two per second, 2.5, 2.5. 2.5, 2.5457. Could probably keep up with it with bots, but I think I'd rather do um, some belt shenanigans. How do you get the fluid in? This is a valid question. How about like this? Maybe put that a bit further back, and we could do belt input this way. Bonk? What's the bonk for? I do believe I like that layout. How many inputs for this? Four. I could either do some sushi shenanigans, or... We could just... Do it the old-fashioned way. We've got plenty of space. I'll allow it. Okay. C 
Seems good. And I guess I like I guess I could leave room to double it. How about there's no middle. There's no way to put this right in the middle. But we'll pretend we can. Long arm in the middle? Whereabouts? Oh, to make it look a bit tidier? Potentially? Yeah, you might be right. That that might be better. Cool. Alright, we'll need two train stops, um, but I think doing it like this so we can double it seems good. Uh, let's do... We need electronic components and emisite crystals for these ones. Uh, that's looking a little bit awkward. Actually. Something like this. I hate the five length underground belts. What what did I just rotate? There we go. Maybe like that. Looks kind of neat, kind of. Feels like a waste of space, but we've got all the space in the world. Uh, and we probably want to move this down a bit. So if we're really going to do... 4, 7... And 5, 6, 7... Uh, inputs on each side. I think we'll do the more basic stuff on this side. Probably go ahead and put our fluid storage here. If not up here. It's going to be quite slow, isn't it? 12.5 per second. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too too much about how quickly the fluid wagon can empty here. Uh, and then that's going to go here. We'll get some length of pipe. 789. Seems a good. We'll get a 7 here. That'll have to do. Ezriak, Trouts, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and we're going to want... Well, let's see. It's six physical items. If we request only a bit more than a train load for most of these... Um, that should be fine. Eight divided by six, one point three three. We could request like one and a quarter train loads of each resource, and theoretically it should never overfill, but frankly I don't trust uh LTN to do that. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like the build is going well. I think it is. I think we can make a pretty neat solar panel build today. Um, 
I hope so. What's the rate for each of these? Glass is 15, electronic circuits is 10, so I think we want those on the near side. Uh, space belts. They're so gross. Oh wait, actually that won't. I kind of want to put one big container for all of these to mix into, but we're going to lose our symmetry. But I guess we'll just have to live with it. Oh wait, there's six resources, physical resources. Well, they're all physical. Solid resources coming in. Um, is it nitric acid? Yeah, it is. Uh, so we can't actually organize it this way. Did you skip one size slash science of solar panels? I don't think so. Regular solar panels have to go into advanced solar panel, has to go into flat solar panel, has to go into flat 2, has to go into flat 3. Does it not? Never played this myself. What's the point of those different length pipes? Um, okay, so I believe all of these still just have a capacity of 100. Yeah, but basically in Factorio, um, this section of 10 pipes is exactly the same length functionally. Uh, as this section of 10 pipes because of the way fluid uh, fluid doesn't behave like fluid in uh, sorry liquid doesn't behave like well I, no I guess it's fluid uh, fluid in pipes doesn't really behave very fluid like in this game it's very sludgy like it's, it's very sticky and, and slow and stuff um, and the more sections of pipe you have, the more it kind of... Uh, it's kind of like... You have these two containers next to each other. Um, if there's a lot in this container, it'll start draining. If there's more in this container, it'll start draining into this container, but not as quickly as you would think. Uh, and the more sections that it has to go through, the longer it takes throughput-wise. Uh, the longer it takes to get where it's going. It's also more UPS friendly, although I think um, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be for the cost of fluids in pipe. People used to shy away from using uh, nuclear power because of all the steam that had to be simulated, um, but it's nowhere near as aggressive as it used to be. Wasn't there one size of panel you thought was not worth using, so waited for the next research? Uh, yeah, that's the advanced right here. But it's a prerequisite for the, um, for the flat solar panel. Yeah, and the long pipe sections act as one pipe section. So you can actually, uh, prove this with... Uh, actually, last playthrough threw together a circuit. I can't really be bothered recreating it right now, but basically we would uh, fill up a container, have some containers over here, um, and we would time it down to the down to the exact frame uh, as to how long it took a pump to get through however many pipe sections. Um, it's very, very fast if it's like this, and very, very slow if it's like this. Blue Zest, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so... I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do the physical 
outputs here. Holmium cable goes to both of these. So, oh, that's gross. Space belts. Uh, I really can't get through here. So I guess maybe something like this. We need Holmium Cable for both of these. And this needs Solenoid and Aeroframe Scaffold. Could do it something like that. I think you'll mind if myself and some friends come by? What? Usually streams for six, seven hours at a time. If I forget to end, that's not true. It's always seven. I mean, that's the rule. Um... Yeah, we need solenoid. Sorry, hold me in cable from this. I think I'll just... Oh, I can't do two filters. Oh no, that means even more space. Because we need like a million shared belts with this. Maybe I should do more train station drop-offs. Uh... It would need to look something... Like this. It's not too bad, I guess. Inserters don't love picking up from corners, though. And, uh, Blue Zest, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, raiders. Into the volcano, indeed. Green Dragger, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me give you a shout out real quick. Dwarf Fortress, nice. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the new version, the Steam version. That's in, like, less than a month now, right? Supposedly. Send the spiders, indeed. I threw a lot of folks into our volcano. They were evil, I assure you. Yikes. It, uh, Lexus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so if we're gonna do shared belts like this, we've got... One, two, three, four, five on each side. I don't think we can do it this way. Oh, wait. No, we're doing the six. For the first two tiers, we're doing these on this side. So, actually... Um, Holmium Cable, Multispectral Mirror, Solenoid, Aeroframe. And these two are going to come from over here, perhaps? Maybe I should do a bot build, or at least some of the slower stuff could be bots. There's just so many inputs. And they're so slow. It, it really does make a ton of sense to use bots here, I think. It should be able to keep up easily. Uh, the question is... Oh, it should be fine. Let's do active providers like this, and a bunch of dedicated storages. Should probably just put the dedicated storages right next to... No, let's get rid of the belts. Uh, that's staying. That can stay. This can move up a couple of tiles. Uh, this can stay with direct insert. And I guess like this. And why don't I move that apart a bit? We can put request a chest here. Uh, 
how big are the Robopollet ranges? Where are my Robopollets? There we go. Uh, I want to set it up so it's not going to be touching another block normally. Although I just realized we have our... We're going to want to build this next to the mall because we don't want to go far. Uh, what am I doing? Control 2. No, Control 3. Uh, and the mall is going to have to have... Roboports for when cargo rockets crash. Which means... Oh, these are all on construction mode. This should be okay. As long as we don't overlap. Okay then. A robo pot. I might even set it to logistic mode. Could even just have one in the middle, but I don't think we'll do that. Solar systems? Yes indeed. The mod is called Space Exploration. Um, let's do a request uh, for the solar panel stuff over here. Actually, make it a buffer because we want, uh, we want to be able to read what we've got available from the logistic network. Unless I just connect all of the chests with green wire, but I think that's going to be a bit excessive. Uh, we're going to want some substation, till we can get pylons, that is. That just barely reaches, very nice. That seems fine. Uh, and then... I just realized this is too close because I'm going to want to have input like this. Let's move all of this down a little bit and then it doesn't reach. Fantastic. Oops. Not going to be able to have it nice and neat at this rate. set these to take a larger input, maybe. Then again, with six inputs, as long as we only go a bit over one train load. Uh, no, we're putting into an active provider. Forget about it. That actually doesn't have quite enough range. I wish I could be a bit more deliberate about the reach of the logistic network. Uh, can we stretch this across here? Yep, that's good. So we're going to read logistic network contents as well as whatever's in here. Don't forget to read what's in the fluid container. Uh, and then probably do a shared input for all three of these, honestly. Although that kind of looks like it's not even going into the machine. I don't like that. The Holmium cable and multispectral mirror and Holmium plate are going to be a total of six per second, actually. That's more than I thought. Let's do stack inserter. And as for the rest, 
1, 1, and 2. That's really slow. Glorious. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, where are we going to put our wide area beacon one day? We can actually cover all of this with the wide area beacon. Very, very nice. Cool. Well, we're not going to need double... Oops. Uh, we're not going to need double train station inputs if we're going to active provider everything out of the bulk rail unloaders. Um, we just have to have some storage chests for each of these. Um, I want the bots to empty... It was 13 solids, wasn't it? I think. What's the highest volume thing here? Uh, probably... Steel plate, or like... It's electronic components in terms of stack size versus consumption. Imosite, Imosite crystal is the same. Oh, that's 13. That fits beautifully. Alright, so we're going to do some filters on these. Um, electronic circuit. Glass. Silicon, steel plate. So when the train drops this off, the bots will have an incredibly short trip uh, to unload all that. Uh, electronic components, imosite crystal. Crystal. Uh, we don't need to worry about the fluid. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fantastic. Uh, and I think I'll put these in order of tech tier. So then we've got multispectral mirror. Holmium plate, Holmium cable, uh, solenoid, uh, aeroframe scaffold, and finally superconductive cable and naquium. Uh, Naquim Cube. Perfect. That fits so beautifully as well. Uh, but that's just one... That's slightly more than one cargo wagon. So why don't we... Double that. That can comfortably fit a bit more than one train load. Uh, why don't we make it two? And we'll have a very clear indication uh, at a rough glance of how much we've got of each resource. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need some power down here. That looks a bit weird. Um, and I think as our tech changes, I wish we had a three by three, like request a chest. Um, but I could do it. With a couple of loaders, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, so whatever whatever tier of solar panels we're able to make at the moment, I'll make that a requester for. And I'll just come and empty them when we upgrade to a new tier. That bulk loader texture though, just pre pretend you can't see it. it it's fine. Don't, wor don't worry about it. It's okay. See? Perfect. No, no worries. Uh, how far are we off flat solar panel 2, I wonder? Huh? There we are. We need three... We need two tier 2 sciences. Uh, that's not happening for a minute. Cool. So that'll definitely be flat solar panel for a while. And theoretically it should be balanced, but I wouldn't trust it. I could run it through a splitter, but then it won't be symmetrical, and that's terrible. Uh, so let's just limit it to one train load. Or rather, instead of one train load, we'll request a whole extra wagon and change over here. So one full chest... Uh, flat solar panels. Um, and just temporarily. Uh, at each tech level, we'll have to have a output into the robot network for the highest tier that we can make. Seems good. Very easy to double it. Um, I guess let's put in some test input. I can't fit that there. Electronic circuits. Uh, what else? Glass, silicon, steel plate, uh, electronic components, imosite crystal mirror. Oops. Imosite crystal, multi spectral mirror. Holmium plate, cable, and solenoid. And then aeroframe, superconductive, and cube. I feel like, oh, whoops. I was going to say, I feel like I'm missing something here. Uh, superconductive cable and cube. Um, and I guess I'll just do like a... Would an active provider be okay? No, I'd have to put a... I'd have to put logic on it. And I'm not going to go to that length to test this. I just want to make sure I haven't missed a link in the chain or something. Let's do some... Well, on second thought, instead of some super Logibots, uh, let's do some regular Logibots. And maybe we can get a little bit of a feel for just how much they'd be able to keep up with. Oh, are the fast inserters good enough? We should probably do stack inserters regardless. Power in space is practically free at that scale. And it'll, it'll be more UPS friendly. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think the bots are going to have any trouble keeping up with this build. I just missed them. Need inputs for advanced solar. Uh, yes. They're, they're snuck in here. Slightly difficult to spot. Uh, and I need these inputs. And then solenoid aeroframe scaffold. Solenoid and scaffold. And then this one needs all of that. And that should be it. If we put speed modules in, the ratios will change because the larger machines can fit a million modules. But I could always just not put in that many modules. How fast is this? Uh, we're looking at a flat solar panel every two seconds. Hmm. Let's say we start with speed 3s. Then again, how much power is this? 2 megawatt to start with. Well, I could put like... Oh, this would help. Um, I could put like... Speed 3s in all of these. And 4 speed 3s and some efficiencies. Let's see how that looks. It's still plus 120% power, 4.4 megawatts. That's not that much. Um, a flat solar panel in orbit only gives us almost half of a megawatt. That's as bad as it gets in this solar system, but it's still not that bad. What should we research? Let's get genetics facility done. Let's just knock off everything that's cheap at this point. Uh, I'm not too concerned about flammables right now. Nuclear artillery? We don't need it right this minute. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to bother with night vision. Probably. Maybe I should. If it looks like perfect daytime, uh, then for the sake of the viewers, I'll absolutely, most of the time, use those. They'll be two by two, right? One by one? Okay. Not sure what I'm going to do with the other three slots. We can do advanced fuel. And lab research speed. Not really worried about that, to be honest. Uh, aeroframe pole costs 10, but that's Astro, which we don't have right now. What's this? 150 for energy shield. If energy shields are anything like uh, last playthrough, where moving makes them drain and costs energy, uh, then I'm not interested. That emote makes me sick. Wait, what? No bot crashes in space? Uh, if we have only 50 Logibots in a network, there's never any bot crashes. But that said, Hagen Orbit... Hagen is an absolute nightmare for logistic bots. Um, but Hagen Orbit is pretty much as good as it gets. It's 1.82, I think... Yeah, it's exactly 82% worse than Nalvis on the surface, but compared to other planet orbits, um, it's actually really, really good. The further out you are from the sun, I think it actually gets less bad. So, Brannus orbit, we're looking at 7.69. Uh, Hagen orbit, 1.82. 
a robot interference wind. Um, but yes, if we keep this robot network at 50 Logibots or less, um, they'll never crash. Background was the streamer had 8,000 DPI and was panicking in-game. What? If you use four infrared goggles at once, do you think you get 16K resolution? Who knows? Uh, so how fast is this? It's only a bit extra expensive power-wise. We would get 1.3 three flat solars per second. That's not bad. Alternatively, I could... Do we have room to double this? I think we do. I think I want to do that. So we could probably go... Well, no, we're not going to be able to keep up with the extra modules in these. Let's just do it this way. So I think that is our solar panel build. Probably even do it with just one Robocot, potentially. What if I put it exactly in the middle? Where is the exact middle? Coverage is perfect, actually. And then... It's not powered. Is the only problem. About like this. And then if we double it, that'll line up perfectly. That looks pretty good to me. Just did a nice blueprint mistake. Apparently at one time I added a request to chest for a thousand Logibots. Pasted the blueprint for that three times. Nice use of materials for my relative early game base. Nice. Petri Cottontail. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hughes Mike. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome to you. Uh, so is this our build? I think we're done here. Let's get some scaffolding under it. Uh, because at this stage of the game... We're still gonna want to be a little bit cheap with that. I think we already put scaffolding behind this, and where did where did it go? We 
need more. Don't need another input station yet. Not until we want to double the whole thing. Oh, I forgot we don't actually need these. Because signals are magic. And for the big container... I think that's all of it. Oops. Cool. Let's get rid of the constant combis. And I think that's just about it. Now we blueprint. Uh, we say flat solar panel. Look, flast solar. How about we just say solar panels? Because that'll go from the most basic to the most advanced when we have the materials. Get rid of the cheat items. And that looks about right, I think. Train stop names? God damn it. Okay. Uh, gatekeeper. We're gonna name this requester, uh, Hmm. Should I list the 13 things that we're requesting? Or should I just say, here we are making solar panels. Also set requests, yeah. Looking forward to that part. Alright, so we're going to do two train loads of each. Uh, nitric acid. Well, let's start from the start. I should have kept those combinators around. Uh, electronic circuit. And I just have to set it to one train load from last playthrough. Uh, glass. Silicon. Step size 50. Uh, and what was the other thing? It's not electronic components, is it? It's steel plate. Steel plate. That's for the regular solar panels. Then we need electronic components, MSI crystal. Stack size 100. Emesite crystal. Uh, and then holmium cable, multispectral holmium plate. Holmium cable. Uh, holmium solenoid. And... Last two, I think. Nope, three. Every frame scaffold. And superconductive cube. Superconductive. And that queen cube. Stacks to eight. Is 1280. Uh, you know what? Cubes are pretty precious. Let's just ask for one train load. 8 times 80. 640. Plate and cable? What do you mean? Someone mentioned it, but I'm pretty sure there's missing scaffold under the substation in the middle of the big crafting thing. It's this one? Indeed. I 
don't know why we're not hearing that bonk noise. Well, seems to work now. Okay. Is that everything? Yep, there it goes. Nope. You heard the bonk? Okay. Uh, and we need fluid as well. Uh, nitric acid. 100k. And that's it. And for the moment, this will be flat solar panel tier one provider. Actually, let me just double check. So flat solar panel, regular flat solar panel actually goes into asteroid belt probe. So we do need to put all three tiers. Tier 2 goes into Star Probe, and Tier 3 doesn't go into anything. Uh, but we kind of do need to have train stops for all of them. So I think we'll go with... Train stops here. Is that right? I think so. And here. Let's just double check that's in the middle. Looks like it. You know what? What what do we need this for? It's not going to be that fast. Let's do it like that. With inserters. They'll actually take turns automatically. Uh, we'll need some substations. Right about here, I think. And, well, first of all, we should have some scaffolding around these things. And these are going to need some pickups. And then, I think that'll probably do. I kind of want to put the flat, the tier 1 flat solar panel up here now. This can be tier 3. Whoops. Seems good. Equium. Let solar panel 3 pick up. Let me just copy and change these. Wait, what? Uh, this will be tier 2. And this will be tier 1. Limit. Whoops. Uh, limit it to one Kahu wagon, just so it'll be balanced. Uh, I'll change this to five on each side once we get the better trains. Which, come to think of it, we can build now, right? 
We just have to go to the trouble of making the batteries. Uh, where are they? Battery, lithium sulfur battery, and steel. That's not too hard. I think we should go directly to space trains um, in orbit. It's going to be a fun time updating all of, all of our stuff on the ground to use cargo wagons that have bigger capacity. Looking forward to it. Yay, indeed. Extra scaffolding for the substation, of course course, and that's actually just barely in range as well. This will be 860. Okay, I think that's it. That's pretty neat, I think. Uh, and we'll have to have output to passive provider for both of these now. Space trains? Space trains with regular cargo wagons? <laughs> nah. It'll match the bulk loaders. I mean, the bulk loaders will have 320 stacks regardless. So that's uh, eight, 8 cargo wagons worth becomes 6 in a bit. The only thing is, I can't see the coziest places to put some of these passive provider chests. I mean, this one's fairly obvious. Uh, and I think I'll move this over here. Nice and close. Love the SE Space Trains mod, indeed. Okay. I think that is gonna cut it. That, that seems pretty good to me. Couldn't get much more neat and tidy than this, I think. Anything we're missing? Impossible. Couldn't happen. Oops. Do you need speed mods on the other factories or just the top one? Uh, I could put speed modules in the rest. Well, right now, actually. Really don't need speeds in this. It's going to be bottlenecked by material. But I guess it doesn't hurt doing this ahead of time. Especially because it's only prod threes that we struggle with because of Vulcanite. Good morning, bloody fist YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, alright, so flat, flat, and flat, flat, fla I typed flast again, flat, solar, panels, snap to grid, 86.25.1, and we should be able to rotate that around, as if we want to. And the snap to looks good. Cool. Let's bring it down here. Complete blueprint, indeed. Alright, uh, let's place it in orbit. And I think as good a place as any for this would be right next door to them all. Uh, and we do have our construction train. 
which is asking for regular rail because I haven't updated this. Boop a doop. Nice. Uh, let's ask instead for space rail. And this one's got multiple cargo wagons, so I can't configure it to take out everything that doesn't belong specifically. So we're going to have to just empty the train. Wait, did I not put... Oh, I did put butts in it. Thank goodness for that. And robopods. Good look looking ships with functionality. Hey, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My spice and extract ships are doing what they are supposed to. I'm so happy they worked as intended. Nice. Space rail is on the way. Uh, we've got absolutely no use for regular rail in this particular container. Let's get rid of it. You can get more Logibots in orbit. The crashing rate is minimal. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get. I'm, I'm not gonna go out of my way to make them crash, just yet. Um, we've got plenty of, we've got plenty of throughput, bot wise, for now. And if I keep the robot networks confined to small cells, um, it'll still be pretty quick with no bot. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No bot casualties, that'll do. Alright, let's park over here. Should be able to reach everything, I think. Started using beam power ships as test beds for my barrel setup in the asteroid belt. I heard the, uh, the beam receivers were nerfed, but nowhere near enough to be a problem. Like the and it, the storage capacity, the heat capacity. But lives matter, indeed. Well, we completely slaughtered ridiculous numbers of them last time. So I feel like I should try to do better. Apparently we don't have this train asking for scaffolding. That would probably help. Uh, let's... Probably just wait till it goes back and I'll see how much room we've got. And there's probably some stuff we can take out as well. Like, these are no good at all. Don't need drills or furnaces. Don't think filtration plants even work in space. Casting machines, I don't think so. Cliff explosives. Uh, I don't think we can use centrifuges up here. Rod threes are hardly ever going to be needed, and I don't think we have... We do have eight in... Rod 3's here. Okay. Empty the train. Fill the train. And we'll see how much space we've got. Which, uh, we'll probably put scaffolding in the wagon at the back or something. This one's already... No, it's not. I'll come back to that. Are our trains okay? Picking up heat shielding and having problems. Oh, this is the old, the old ways. Heat shielding greater than uh, 50 times 40, 2000. And I'm going to set the threshold to 120. 
Any other stuck trains? This one's not stuck, I guess. Oh, I think it was waiting for the first one to get out of the way. Same thing over here. Except it's low density structures. And same settings. Oh, maybe that should be blue belt. Or maybe we just haven't caught up. That belt can almost do ten times the speed of the machines. I totally love the loaders. They should implement them into vanilla. I could see why they wouldn't, but yeah, I do like them. Maybe make them cost electricity or something, though. Or just put them further into the tech tree or something. Uh-oh. Please tell me we've been making... cargo rocket sections. Oh no. Oh no. Because of that one train station? And that train that queued up right after another one? Um, we haven't been making cargo rocket sections for the last hour. Which means we haven't been getting our exotic resources other than cryonite. Nope. We've still got plenty of cargo rocket sections on Granis. Uh, Gibbil. As a lot as well. Uh, what about X Exorion? Uh, also has plenty. Looks like it wasn't enough to cause any problems. Nice. Very nice. Everywhere I look, there's a cargo rocket silo ready to launch. That's what I want to see. There are loaders in vanilla, but they took it off. You can download the mod that makes them available. Are those those, like, two-by-one things? Um, or I, There are two-by-one things that act as loaders and unloaders in vanilla, but you have, you have to get cheats on to use them. Not sure why they took them off. No, oh, design decisions. They are those, okay. Alright, what's next? Space? Uh, train. This is not yet load. Why are we trying to load pipes that can't work in space? Answer me this. Alright, let's put, say, a thousand scaffolding. in the back. And how about pipes in the front? Say one stack of each of these. We have one stack of each of those? I thought we put them on auto crafting. Oh, it, I turned it off. Whoops. And same for belts. Do belts come before pipes? They do. I kind of want the pipes first. There we go. 
Wow, they're so slow that even the big machine isn't super quick with it. Anyway, let's get our construction train to park over here again. I'm more concerned about putting down the scaffolding, uh, and then we can put down the whole blueprint properly. You can use normal trains in space, though it should be space trains. Uh, you can use space trains on the ground as well, they're just not as... Uh, I was going to say, the regular trains are just not as good. Oh, that's going to be backward, isn't it? Whoops. Trains are pretty good as is. This is true. Boggles, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, can we not get scaffolding here? Oh. Wait, we've got 4, 4k scaffolding. Logistic storage, 4k, on the way, 0. I think we're asking a little bit too much of our bots for the moment. I want to separate these bot networks uh, eventually. But for the moment, um, it's a little bit of a problem. How about... How about we put a robopod here? And we'll get construction bots with their great many numbers to go build this stuff. Should be scaffolding coming from over here now. Fantastic. Uh, I guess it can't reach down here. I don't really care right now. And then grab our blueprint. Uh, I'm noticing that when I built scaffolding around the bulk rail loaders, it didn't actually build this out. Still no scaffolding here. How is it such a low priority? Here it is. Oh, this is a buffer chest. Well, that's a mistake. Well, there's your problem. We're trying to move from a buffer chest to a buffer chest, and the bots won't do that. There we go. We only need, like, 50 scaffolding or something. Alright, construction train. Over here, if you please. And we grab the blueprint. And we place the blueprint. With the left click, no shift. Nice and easy. And obviously we have no real rail network here just yet. Uh, so for the moment I'm just going to extend the robot network over this way. Uh, and we'll need to get barrels of nitric acid upstairs. Everything else I think we've already got out of the stuff that we have um, the technology for. Apparently we don't have multi-spectral mirrors. I thought I remembered making some of those. Did we need them for a pre-rec for something? 
don't know. Do we not request space pipe here? That would probably help. Space pipe. And we need to permit that. Space pipe. Will you do oil cracking in space? Um, maybe not. It depends. Last time, just because it saved a ton of space in cargo rockets, uh, I sent up coal and ice to do all of the oil processing. Um, we only need Astro 1, Material 1 and 2 added to our repertoire to unlock space elevators. So I'm kind of hoping I can skip that. Actually placed just enough space manufactories for this to work. Uh, we don't have the tier 2. Oh, it doesn't have the recipe set. Because we can't set the recipe. That's why. Yeah. Alright, so now the space pipe should be able to work. Does... There's no steel on the way. Oh, now there is. Fantastic. And we're about to unlock Prod 4. If you place a space elevator on the surface, did you check where it pops up in space? Uh, that's why we've got the snap to grid absolute uh, rail blocks. Because the coordinates uh, on the ground for the space elevator are going to be the same as the coordinates in space. So I do actually have a spell elevator blueprint, uh, a rail block blueprint right here. That's the main reason um, that I finally decided to try snap to grid absolute for the rail blocks this time. And it's been going pretty well. Uh, cabin, Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. We're out of beryllium plate. That's iron. That's steel. Wait, where's beryllium plate? This, this is, this is it. Okay. It's probably fine, actually. Probably. I think this is the first time it's going to 80 stacks to do a delivery. I would reserve a block for it. Uh, yeah, I've done the measurements as well. Um, so, boop -ba doop Uh, this thing right here, this planet orbit symbol, uh, is at approximately zero zero. We can check with a ping. And uh, this thing right here is at zero zero. So the space, uh, the orbital space base is actually like up here somewhere. What is the prod four recipe? Um, good question. Prod four, that's seven. Is Vita Melange extract and machine learning data? We've got the machine learning data already. Uh, but we haven't tasted Vitamelange this playthrough. Okay. Back to the build. Uh, does that have power? It does. The bots are just taking their sweet time. Oh, this is set to logistic mode. Let's set it to normal mode. The robots should be able to finish building all of that without sending the train out. Fantastic. 
That didn't take very long. Wait. How does... Whatever. I'm not going to question it. That one shouldn't be in... Oh, it's this one. Let's put that on construction. And that could be logistic mode. And that would actually work. As it's supposed to later on. Nice. Uh, how about logistic mode for you? There we go. So now we should start to see... Oh, we've already delivered things here. Cool. We really are just waiting on the nitric acid. And the holmium cable and multispectral mirror. I thought we had holmium cable. Or did we, like, direct insert it or something? Uh, we kind of did. Yeah. Let's throw that together. Might just limit that to... You know what? I'm sure we're going to want a bunch of Holmium cable at some point. I've been on an SE binge watching slash playing. Thoroughly enjoy all aspects of it, but damn, the what to do next is holding me back. The analysis paralysis? Yeah, it's a bit... it's a bit much. I think I'll limit this to five stacks, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Cable. Holmium cable. I think there's, like, a couple of things where we need, like, a thousand of this, perhaps. Nope. If we limit that to a few stacks, it should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I might take a short break since I'm kind of starting to blank. And we'll figure out exactly what we're doing after that. Uh, mostly, I think... Probably do the next uh, space rail block build. Which should probably be our first step toward uh, science in the rail network. So we're going to be redoing some of this nasty spaghetti with some proper builds. Unless something's broken somewhere, which is entirely possible. But given how our cargo rocket... Oh, wow. We're actually bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel again. In a way, that's kind of good. Um, it means we're really not struggling with cargo rocket sections. Okay. didn't realize these two were still connected. How's our steam battery looking? Oh wow, it's half full. And we've still got uh, 19 hours 22 minutes until the coronal mass ejection. Uh, we've got 90 condenser turbines, which is exactly what it takes at peak to stop the coronal mass ejection. So I don't think we'll have any trouble there. Uh, how's the Vulcanite doing? If we're bottlenecked on that liquid rocket fuel now, I'm really curious to know how, how this looks. And I would say maybe not great. That's been empty for a minute. Let's look at Vulcanite block. Uh, yep. It's been really consistent for a while, and now it's slowing down. I think we just ran out of liquid rocket fuel on Granis. Need to hurry up and get spaceships. 
start with material one? Yeah, probably. Material... Uh, material one compared to... Uh, Astro one probably has some more juicy prizes. Have we unlocked material one? Uh, we have. Heavy girder. Power armor mark three. Okay, that's kind of nice. Stack bonus. Uh, delivery cannon. Weapon delivery cannon. That is. Also, the iridium delivery cannon capsule recipe is kind of nice. Advanced furnace. Ooh, green belts. That's kind of nice. Uh, what about... Astro? We get some more... We get some slightly less bad rockets. Aeroframe pole. Zone discovery. Radiating efficiency. Fryer gun. Uh, pylons? Pylon substation needs energy too, so it's not as exciting. Uh, we need Astro 1 to get the weapon delivery cannons anyway. Jetpack 3. Yeah, I think material's more exciting. Uh, especially material 2. Which we need for construction pylon. Uh, Pylon Substation, where is it? Here it is. It's actually just Energy 2. After Astro 1. Getting a bit sidetracked here. Immersite Weapons, Thruster Suit 2. What is that? Energy Shield. Rocket Turret, that sounds good. That sounds very good. Spidertron? It's actually Bio 1 Material 1. It's much easier to get than I would have thought. Tool belt, cargo size. Uh, but I was going to say Material 2 has some really good stuff behind it, or at least that's what I remember from last time. Tank? Alright, needs Energy 2 as well. Supercharger needs Energy 2, needs everything 2, practically. Hold me an accumulator. Probably the solar panel as well. But most importantly, Space Elevator. That's a big game changer. We want it. All right. Uh, let's save right there. And throw up the old screensaver. And we'll fire up some words on stream. How much steam tank buffers do you have versus the CME? Uh, too much. We've got... 50k times... 108 for our max storage. And we're halfway there. This is already a lot more than we need. But I'm okay with that. It's all coming from solar power anyway. It's not like we're burning fuel faster to make that happen. Also, we got another dupa doop Okay. If it'll, if it'll load, there we go. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Nicely done. Uh, so I'm seriously considering doing some more temp spaghetti, actually. Because... There's only, what is it, three sciences that we need to do? I mean, only. But here's the thing. To get to space elevators, uh, we need Astro 1, Material 1, and Material 2. Uh, if we're going to start building out space rail blocks... To do that properly, we're going to need to supply it. Uh, we're going to need to supply the rail system. Uh, we could either have loading stations coming from all of this mess with the bots supplying stuff. And that would be one way to go about it. Um, or we could go and make temporary cargo landing pads for specific resources and we'd have to go and make an awful lot of you know drop-offs for specific resources that go into cargo rockets as opposed to this uh, uh, omni cargo rocket system we've got here yep I know words were still on screen as soon as I saw text moving in chat out of the corner of my eye, I realized that's probably because there's still words on stream. Love Kelly, Morpheus, Crazy Heather, good to see you again. Game to relax, Silent Storm as well. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. T-Hacks is cool, thank you. Uh, Fritley, welcome, welcome, also. Uh... So yeah, I think it might even be worth continuing with the orbital spaghetti just a little bit further. Um, just so we can get space rail, uh, space rail, so we can get uh, space elevators and not have to create an empire of way too many cargo rocket silos uh, in the meantime or a bunch of temporary train pickups uh, from all of this mess so I guess let's try that um, I was going to put I was going to put a station over here for refueling our spaceship so I guess I'll try expanding out this way instead Should we go Material 1 first? Why not? So Material 1 needs Material Testing Packs. Uh, also Material Testing Packs. Also Material Testing Packs and also Material Testing Packs. And a lot of blank data cards, which we're only making in one spot at the moment. Um, I think we have some speed dreams. We do. But it's probably bottlenecked on something else. Oh, it's actually, um, keeping up so far. That's interesting. Well, that might mean it's not so bad after all. We've actually got 1k... We've got 2k blank data cards in the system. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think this is going to be so bad, actually. I'm a big proponent of space pasta, <laughs> indeed. Jammin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
All right, so we need a thermodynamics, thermodynamics, uh, mechanical, mechanical for this. What are we missing for the inputs? Probably storage tank. Uh, probably not steel. No, we do actually need steel. How do you deal with those test cards? They are fairly pain in the bum to deal with, especially early stage. You mean the blank data cards? Um... Throw more stuff at it? There, there isn't really much else to, st to say, if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, the whole, the whole playthrough blank data cards are very often a bottleneck. Um, I think we need to make some storage tanks and probably some pumps. Uh, how about... Whoa, that's not what I was looking for. How about this basic auto-crafter? Not in-game at the moment, there is one test sample something something that is pretty annoying to make. Yeah, there's a few that are, are annoying to make, definitely. Um, you know what, I think this time I might just... Just put down a couple of assemblers. Uh, we need pumps, regular old pumps, and regular old storage tanks. And we need iron, steel, pipe, and small electric. Iron, iron, do we even have those? We do. Right. Small electric. And steel plate. And we'll use the Logi network to limit. Okay, so that'll get us our pair of thermodynamics facilities pretty quickly. Oh, they're already... Nope, that's one laser, one thermo. They look exactly the same except for the color. Wait, I see you're doing K2SE. Yes, might be totally different. I wouldn't say it's totally different, but there are some significant differences, absolutely. Uh, I'd like to make one more spare of these at least before we switch the recipe. Can we get some more storage tanks? No? No? It said there were already some on the way. Was that a lie? There we go. Alright, the other thing we need at the moment is mech facility. Uh, where is mech facility? There it is. It comes after recycling facility. We need gun turrets. Okay. Yet another thing... That doesn't work. Oh, so that's everything. I think we need like eight. We need ten per mech facility. Okay. Now then. Uh, we're also going to have to make test in pack. Uh, there's only one recipe for it. 
we've already got all the things here. Uh, we could make it in a space assembly machine if we so desire. Not sure if that'll be enough to keep up, but we'll see. Testing patch. Requester, provider. And then... Take our thermo facilities. Have a look at these recipes. Cold and hot. Uh, we need cold thermo fluid in, 25 out. Do we have that somewhere we can reach over here? That's 25. Uh, we could maybe squeeze it through here if we get rid of some of the solar panels. What about cold thermo fluid? That's 25. Uh, what temperature is this? That's cool, negative 10. I think this is... Hold on, what? This is cold. We don't have a container for it. But... If I move these, I could underground this over here, and spaghetti this across here. right through where I want to put the spaceship, theoretically. I think we'll probably just not worry about it. I'm surprised I haven't even thought of using the spaceship in a long time, since we got uh, Ion Stream ready. Which is surprising, because I could take it to other solar systems, but on the other hand, uh, we haven't got any scanning yet, so I don't actually have any destinations. I don't know if flying into another solar system would reveal a planet or anything. I don't think it works that way. Um, but it's not like we can land on planets with our ion engine. So it's not that useful just yet. Uh, that said, once we get um, space elevators, theoretically... I could use our one spaceship uh, to ferry items between the planets, but realistically, no. So yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that. How about... How about I don't sneeze? Let's move these over here. Get some 15s in here, perhaps. That's 13. That's like the worst distance when you're trying to make things fit nicely with these pipes. Alright, maybe I'll even put this here. And uh, we could just move some of these solar panels, I guess. We should have a bunch more scaffolding by now. 276, that's not a whole lot. Oh, we've just got one machine making it? Okay then. Let's see when that's done. Uh, I know we're getting a little low in power depending on what we're doing and when. I could put some more efficiency modules in, though. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking... This might work, actually. Might not have to move any of these panels. Well, some of them. Certainly. Use a niner here. That seems good. 
Although, I just realized I sort of connected those two loops. Could that be a problem? Only if we make lots and lots of material science. I could... Oh wait, no. It's all the same storage for the 25 degree thermofluid. That's a relief. Alright, cool. So we're not doing anything stupid here. Got any flats done? Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't have. Because I haven't sent up nitric acid yet. Which I could definitely do. Uh, just not the way I've been doing it here. As we make barrels on the spot and receive deliveries. Um, I guess I could do another drop-off station over this way. Cool, we don't even have to go anywhere with the, with our train to do this. Uh, might have to move these a bit. And I think this is in the wrong spot. Yes, train, I know you are getting fully resupplied every two seconds. You can maybe stop telling me about it just for the moment. How did you move those chests? Uh, a mod called Picker Dollies. Just point at something, hold shift, and use the cursor keys. And it also lets you rotate uh, long combinators in a way that you can't in vanilla. Also, it'll preserve all of the wire connections, and it won't let you cheat with wire distance. Installs mod, that is brilliant, I agree. Uh, Windsinger, QS, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put a requester station here. And you know what I haven't tried figuring out yet? How many different um, fluid outputs could we do at one station? I'm pretty sure the answer is eight. If we had lots of space and pipes to go all over the place. But uh, we could definitely do f four, except then this would be too close. But we could move it in. Yeah, we could we could drop off four different fluids this way. Could connect these like so. And these, like so. One, two, three, four. Seems good. Uh, and we'll connect to the LTN train stop output. So we don't put fluids in the wrong place. That's actually really neat. I like that. Uh, okay, so we need to request... I don't care if it's a short or long train. Um, was it nitric acid? I'll just call this nitric acid requester. And we'll be needing a substation right about here uh, and we will need is this really no there it is uh, we will need one machine to make barrels acid barrel fill nitric acid barrel what was that other type of acid? Of course there's sulfuric acid. Vitalic acid. It's got that healthy green glow. Alright, so that's barrels. That's output for barrels. And... 
That's nitric acid probably on the way. That's the wrong fluid. And that can go there. So I want to hang around and check that this works. It's a pretty simple setup, but I want to double.